Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a review on the flashback Roussillon card. We're going to go through the card of Cisto stats, clips and summary as well as the SPC requirements for you guys to get your hands on him. But before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below if you're going to be grabbing this card. And now let's get into the video. So guys, this is a team that I used Jerome Roussillon in. I played him, of course, in that left-back slot in the 4-2-3-1. I did also try him at the left-wing-back slot. And overall, guys, my first impressions of this card, I absolutely love this card. I think he's a really great card. And honestly, I know I keep saying this every week, but this may well be the best free card that we have been given all year. And I really do mean this this time. It's just level above some of the other cards we have got. Let's just get into the video. Jerome Roussillon. High, medium, 5-9, left-footed, 3-star skill moves, 3-star refoot, 6 games played, no goals scored, and no assists. Now, guys, part of this I have to take blame for a lot of, and part of it I don't. Now, I had a really poor time with my connection, so we didn't get any goals or assists with this card. The 3-star skill moves and 3-star weak foot are a bit of a con of this card, but again, left-footed, left-back, at least it works in that regard as well, so he's not too out of his depth in that left-back slot. His size isn't actually that much of a problem either because he's a very stocky build we will look at that more in the stats as we go along in terms of the details guys i put an anchor on him just to kind of help out the key stats of a defensive player that you'd want to help out which leads us into the attribute details the key pros of the card guys his pace is really good um, his strength is fantastic his aggression is fantastic stamina really good as well his dribbling stats are pretty good as well overall really clean in that department and decent defending stats though he does need a helping hand in terms of the cons of this card guys there aren't really that many um a lot of the stats where you feel like they may be slight cons like his defending stats maybe aren't high enough they can be boosted with the chemistry style his dribbling is perfectly fine guys i actually didn't notice a con with this at all his passing is very good as well so overall guys this is going to be one of the few cards where i say i don't notice a con considering it's a free card as well considering what he's able to do i really didn't find many cons with this card in terms of the traits guys this is a con he doesn't have any of the traits in there but now that we've covered that let's get into the spc requirements for you guys to get your hands on it so guys, getting into some of Jerome Roussillon's or all of Jerome Roussillon's requirements to get this card. Uh, the first thing you have to do, assist five goals using defenders, assist two goals using crosses, score 15 goals in the friendly matches, win eight of them, and score 12 finesse goals in 12 separate matches. So guys, I feel like, so that's, sorry, that's one goal in each of those 12 matches, but it has to be a finesse goal. The only ones I find are a little bit annoying, of course, are the grindy ones, like the 12 goals in separate matches, which have to be finesse goals. The assist five goals using defenders is a little bit annoying as well. So guys, try and use cards which are relatively quick, relatively decent at attacking. Put them at left wing, right wing, striker, all that stuff as well. The one that I went for, I used daily Sinkgraven and I had his uh, league player card. I put him at left wing and used him just to kind of get this objective out of the way. I also brought on, which some of you guys may not have the luxury of, but I brought on Roberto Carlos up front. He really did a job for me up front. Was a brilliant striker in that regard. And funnily enough, he may have actually got his replacement. But overall guys, I feel like this is a really easy card hard to do uh, other than those two of course and now that we've covered that let's get into some of the clips that i got with him so guys getting into some of jerome roussillon's clips and what you guys are going to see is his general ability at that left back slot to be able to compete to be able to play that wing back slot as well and how well he did for me there now the first thing we'll get into guys is his pace his pace is really good i feel like it's more than usable even without a boost however the anchor does just does just take it over to that elite level where he's able to compete and get back at anyone uh, without any trouble in terms of his shooting guys his shooting is okay he can actually strike the ball okay i wouldn't use him regularly for finishing chances although at wing back slot if he does manage to find himself in behind he'll have a reasonable attempt at it and he'll get a shot off as well in terms of the passing guys his passing is very good uh, i feel like the short pass and long pass are both understated on the card and the crossing on this card is very very good as well he put the ball on a 50 pence every time i needed him to and he was really good in that regard as well in terms of the dribbling guys now his dribbling stats look average uh, but actually what, what i found was that he's very very good he's very capable and he's very strong as well so when you're dribbling with him it feels like a solid dribble he doesn't feel weak on the ball at all he's really capable of dribbling as well quick uh, strong on the ball able to move quickly in any direction as well so that's really important for me as well in terms of the defending guys now his defending is uh, a decent stat and not a top level stat and this will require a bit of a boost if you want him to become an elite fullback uh, if you want him to be a wing back then this maybe isn't so much of a focus and you can focus more on his attacking side but i feel like his defending stats could use a little bit of a helping hand at that fullback slot 
Finally, guys, in terms of the physicality, and this was my favorite stat of the bunch, his physicality was tremendous. He's so strong, aggressive, capable in those tackles that I really did enjoy using this card just in terms of what he was able to do on the ball uh, and how well he was able to hold off other players, get stuck in, win the ball back, all those things that you want your fullback to be able to do. He was able to do that for me. Now, guys, as we get into the final few clips, you're just going to see more of the same, his defensive capability, his ability to win the ball back well uh, and keep fighting for the ball despite the fact that some of these are fouls maybe they are very good at illustrating the point that i'm trying to make and here you're seeing a bit of his attacking side where he breaks forward gets into the box puts a lovely cross on ronaldo's head and it's just unlucky not to end up in the net so guys getting to his final jerome roussillon summary of course doesn't cost you anything on any of these consoles or machines just your time in terms of the key pros and stats of the card guys of course like we mentioned earlier i think this card is really well rounded in terms of his capability and where he's not particularly special at anything he's decent at everything and has good pace to go along with it. i think his dribbling is actually better than what this would have you believe the key stat on this card for me the biggest thing about this card was his strength and aggression his ability to get stuck into those tackles as well meant that i was just able to give him the right chemistry style just to help him out a little bit more which i recommend to you guys as the anchor brings his defending up to an elite level brings his physicality up to an elite level and makes him just that little bit quicker is the best chemistry style for him by far in terms of similar players guys now there's actually one card in particular which i think he plays a lot like and it's not actually on this list but it's uh Berbes estupinian now he was in the la liga future stars uh kind of i think that's where his promo is uh a very stocky build very big build very dynamic card as well i feel like this Roussillon plays a lot like him you will not see him on this list of players but that's who he plays like guys a very stocky capable build much better than that card of course as well in terms of linkability guys you've of course got perfect links to this recent re recently released team of the season lacroix we will be trying to get our hands on that card guys i am trying to get my hands on it we will do a review on that at some point strong links of course to french icons french players in the bundesliga as well like Kingsley Coman's Tots card, uh, Lacroix there as well. Again, Mukiele's in there. Uh, Baku, strong link as well. Nkunku, strong link. Guendouzi, strong link as well. Loads of linkability on this card. And actually, guys, one thing that I love about this card is the nation and the league that they've given us to link with this one because it really does open up a whole bunch of hybrid options, which I love, actually. I think this is a really big dub from EA in terms of how well they've done. And of course, we're not going to do a price comparison, guys, because there is none. So for me, my final recommendation on this card, guys, is go out and do it. This is 100% worth it. And this is actually a left back, which I feel like you can put him in your team and forget it. That's your left back slot sorted for the rest of the year. I do feel like he is that good. And with the right instructions as well, he'll be capable in that left back slot. And honestly, guys, I have to give EA props for releasing this card. This has been this is one of the better cards they've released this year. Maybe the best card they've released this year. Uh, really great card in all aspects. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, please do smash that like button. Until next time, I will see you all in a bit.